United Nations Security Council report says that the Taliban is becoming more dangerous. The brief says that the organization is a threat to the current Afghan government and remains connected to Al-Qaeda. They are reported to be responsible for the great majority of targeted assassinations that have become a feature of the violence in Afghanistan. And that appears to be undertaken with the objective of weakening the capacity of the government and intimidating civil society. The information comes as the deadline for U.S. troops to withdraw from the country approaches. September 11th, the 20th anniversary of the 911 attacks on New York and Washington, is that deadline. U.S. President Joe Biden has received criticism at home and abroad for making the decision to pull American forces out. Washington has reportedly spent over $3 billion on its military effort in Afghanistan. The document assesses that, despite two decades of conflict, the Taliban's strength is still robust and recruitment has remained steady. The UN estimates their manpower to be between 58,000 and 100,000 loyalists. The Afghan armed forces have declined by 44,000 since February to just over 300,000. The UN goes on to say that the number of attacks in the country have increased 60% over the first three months of 2021. It states that the Taliban control 50 to 70 percent of territory outside urban centers. The security situation in Afghanistan remains as tense and challenging as at any time in recent history. Taliban have been emboldened to sustain attacks for longer periods while also exercising greater freedom of movement. This has allowed the Taliban to mass forces around key provincial capitals and district centers, enabling them to remain poised to launch attacks. In a section seemingly aimed at Washington, the report says, the coming international military withdrawal will challenge Afghan forces by limiting aerial operation with fewer drones and radar and surveillance capabilities less logistical support and artillery, as well as a disruption in training. The International Security Assistance Force has provided nearly 5,000 troops at its strongest. Canada, the UK, the US, and as many as 18 other NATO countries have contributed soldiers. They are all expected to either precede or follow the American forces by September 11. ADN-TV will continue to report on security developments in Africa and around the world.